Michigan football will face off against rival Michigan State tomorrow under the lights in Ann Arbor. CBS News Detroit's Meredith Bruckner is at the Big House with a look at how officials are planning to keep fans safe during and after the game. Tomorrow, tens of thousands of fans are going to be descending on this area for the biggest rivalry game in Michigan college football. And from a safety perspective, it's all hands on deck. Michael Jordan is the general manager of Sodexo, the official caterer for the stadium. He helped oversee the rollout of alcohol sales at the big house earlier this season. He says they're prepared for tomorrow night. We, we did do a, a refresher training with our team. We did have three weeks off in between the, the last game and, and this game coming up. He says the alcohol service in the stadium can change depending on the situation. Our policy is that we've stopped serving um, at the start of the fourth quarter, but that's the latest. We could stop serving before halftime if we feel that that is in the best interest of our fans and the, and the safety of everyone here at the stadium. Police say night games can pose a different challenge than games that start at noon. With it being a night game, obviously there is some concern that there's more time for people to consume alcohol. We do want people to come to town, have a good time, however, to do so safely. He says for this rivalry game, there will be a larger police presence across the city. We will have extra patrols out, not only downtown, but in the college areas, as well as within the stadium and outside and around the stadium. Julie Weatherby lives down the street from the stadium. She says dealing with fans is part of the course in her neighborhood. It is actually a really quiet neighborhood when it's not a football game, but during football season, it's absolutely wild. You just have to be ready for kind of anything. We've had to call police, we've had to call ambulance. You name it, it's happened when during a football game. Now kickoff for the game is at 730 and the gates will open two hours prior. Reporting in Ann Arbor, Meredith Bruckner, CBS News, Detroit. Thank you, Meredith. The local bus service is making sure fans coming from Detroit can get to Ann Arbor and back with extended hours on game day. D2A2 will travel between Detroit and Ann Arbor all day, offering eight routes starting tomorrow at 7.30 in the morning. The bus picks up passengers at Grand Circus Park and drops them off at the Blake Transit Center. You can walk or take the ride to get to the big house. The bus will offer a special late night run, leaving from Ann Arbor to Detroit at 11.55. Tickets cost only six bucks. And if you're driving to the game, just a reminder that normal parking regulations apply on game day. Vehicles parked in any illegal location will be ticketed or towed. Overnight parking isn't allowed in all U of M football parking lots. And the university is also not responsible for loss or damage to vehicles or their contents.